Last one. This, you know what this one is, Glenn? Oldies but baddies, number, number five. five. Number five. Okay. I'm hoping that it's going to be Mambo number five. <laughs> I don't think we have that on this list. A little list. bit I... of Glennifer in my... I don't know the words. How'd you like a little bit of my fist in your jaw? <laughs> Everybody, welcome to SMG Oldies but Baddies Nasty Nineties Edition. We're into episode number five here. The last four episodes have been interesting. The quality has steadily been increasing. We've seen some real shit to start out with, and slowly but surely started to get better. We've had a couple of really good up entries so far, a couple of notable ones and whatnot, and we're giving away some amazing prizes. So if you want to get in on this contest, it's not too late. Just follow the links in the description below. It lays out all the instructions for you. It's pretty simple stuff like cover a 90s song. I know. Tough. Make a That's music 1990s. video. Yeah. And make sure it's something new. It's not something you did 12 fucking years ago like one of the bands in the first episode did. Great job, guys. Talk about low effort. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about no effort. Surprised they even made the effort to send the fucking email. I, I should hand them a prize for just showing up, I guess. Is there like a... But this is what happens, parents, this is what happens when you hand your kids prizes for showing up. They come to my fucking contest and expect the same. Well, that shit doesn't fucking happen here. Are you going to hand out like negative prizes? Like the, like the worst? I wish I could send people glitter bombs. Can we take away something from them? Mm. <laughs> it's like, I can should we just go to their it? house and take their guitar? Well, I do have their email addresses. Maybe I could just like share their email addresses with, you know, 10,000 people and dox them. Here, this guy's a fucking moron. Here's his email address. Let him know. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Maybe we just sign uh, him up to, you know, some some spam. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I know. Yes. Okay. We should totally do that. Okay. Yeah. You deserve it. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think we are going to do that. That's a fantastic. Actually, you just gave me an idea. So That's you guys what I'm here are. For. Yep. I am signing you guys up for all kinds of stuff that you're definitely not going to like. And yes, you absolutely fucking deserve it. You fucking lazy bastards. Anyway, <coughs> let's see what we get this time. All right. What do we got? Starting off with Fabian Buschmann, probably from Deutschland. And it's. Another four non blondes. What's up? All right. Hopefully, video unavailable. Oh, God damn it, bro. This video is private. Just so you know, I changed the key from A major to A minor and then sent you a video that didn't exist. Yeah, set to private. Sorry for my potato cam. We didn't even get to see your potato cam. Yes, yeah, because you weren't smart enough to make the video unlisted or public. Great job, dude. Fantastic. I'm wah, so fucking wah, impressed. Wah, wah. All right. All right. Next up. Greg Pearson, Cotton Eye Joe, another Cotton Eye Joe. So far, I have not heard a version of Cotton Eye Joe that trumps the original. Uh, sadly. Like, literally. I, sadly, I agree. Like, it's already good. You just have to not fuck it up. All right. Here we go. Please don't fuck <sighs> it up. That's Greg a tall Pearson. order. We got some. Um, yeah, some, some comic sans and a really slow typing out. Wow. He's playing really good, but that sounds like shit. Yep. Oh my god. Look, you gotta put fucking cab sounds on your guitars, okay? Guitar, speaker cabinet, sounds. You can't just plug an amp into nothing. Hey, 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 hey. No, I'm angry, Glenn! I'm the one who does the yelling on this show. Yeah, I do agree. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, you're gone. If you can't put an impulse response on your fucking guitar sound after I don't know how many fucking episodes I've done on impulse responses, really? You couldn't figure that out? Really? You're fucking out of here, pal. Next. Next. No rev for you. Jose Carlos. If Boom Boom was a metal song, okay. Venga Boys cover. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know this one. I think Venga Boys sounds very f vaguely familiar. There was a point that you could not escape this fucking okay, song. Okay, we'll fucking play it. Okay. Maybe tune the guitar. Mom looks impressed. Oh, that video is very stretched. I 
Alright, that's a rip. You don't have to wear the mask in the car, bro. It's very 2020. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. All right. Oh. I would definitely recommend everybody plays together in the same room uh, when you're tracking because it's uh, you guys are all over the place. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with rocking the fuck out, but generally you're going to get better results when you're playing together as a unit and practice more. Or play to a click track and then you don't all have to be in the same room. Produced with Reaper using only free plugins. You can Glenn get has a whole course on where mixing you can with learn free how plugins. to do that. Yes, you should like totally Click get the link that. In the it description would, that would, you'll probably forget to put in there. Yeah, probably. All right. I would definitely recommend checking that out, though. Uh, Alan Caro Ojeda, out of boredom, okay. the is doing the bad touch. Who did the bad touch? It's the Bloodhound Gang. Oh, okay. I'm sure um, I know this one, too. Yep. It's a, it's a good one. No intro core. <laughs> if you take longer than 30 seconds to start the song, you are... I mean, that's what the song is about. Ooh. Hey, this sounds good. Wow. There's a fucking video here. And it's got the two-step that Daddy likes. And some... Uh, Grand Theft Auto stuff. Whoa! What do they call that? Machinima? When you use a video game? Yeah. Well done. That's fun. Like the dance sequence. Nice. And this is Yacht, This is great. Yeah. Very inventive. Double up that hi hat, dude. He's when I'm programming those, like one hard one and one soft one. Anyway. Oh, he's doing it halftime. I don't remember if this is in the original song, but it's cool. Oh, this is great. I knew that was coming. <laughs> she only wanted Snoo Snoo. <laughs> wow! Death by Snoo Snoo. Nice, nice wow. future album reference. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nicely oh, done. Man. Really cool. That was uh, that was a very a fresh take on on the whole music video concept. Never really thought of using Makina in there. Fucking well done, man. That was great. That's fucking creative. That's what we want to see. Well done. Next, the bass was the guitar pitched down. <laughs> Usually yep. that sounds like shit. Uh, this was pretty good. I didn't good. really notice. Okay, Von Argand uh, won a cookie, which is. Apparently, they're doing Wannabe by the Spice Girls, but they're changing the lyrics. Play it. Let's see what happens. All right. Please be entertaining. (laughs) (laughs) I 
want a cookie. <laughs> That's a little gr I don't remember this episode of Sesame Street. <laughs> wow. We're going to have to look and see if they just took somebody else's version of this that had, you know, yeah, like maybe. it's possible somebody else made this and they just put the new lyrics on it. You know, people make like this is yeah. Sesame Street sings, whatever, but still cool. Sounds good, too. I like that guitar tone. <laughs> Little low five far away scream. I like it. Yeah. Get a cookie, you gotta listen to the when they fall into place the likes and if I shot crave like Mike to life and I Wow. I'm pretty sure those those vocals are tuned down, but uh, damn. That was, that was uh, fun. That was a lot of fun. Wow. Obviously, no no, uh, no original video content there, which is a shame, but that was uh, a pretty I mean, we interesting. we don't know that for sure, but I, I would Well, be... they definitely didn't get a bunch of Muppets together and do it themselves. That's my point. Oh, Look, yeah. Those, right, are, right, right. those are clips from other, obviously, somebody else's work, but that, that works as a yeah. mashup, though. So that qualifies as fair use, so I'll allow it. All right. Well done. Well done. I liked it. That, yeah. was, that was very inventive. It was fun. It was too. way better than Ancy's video where it was just a single shot of him playing guitar. Yay. God damn it, Ancy. God damn it. Fucking guy. All right. Up next, Christian Brennan, the scat man. Okay. Which takes on a very different connotation. Don't. Yeah, exactly. In the early 90s, scat man went, met, were, you know, meant one thing. In the late 90s, once we all got, got you know, the internet and then we realized, you know, you looked up scat and it was like, what? Oh no! All right, so hopefully this is not that. Yeah, I really don't want to get uh, my my channel taken down. Wow, this is so dark already. It's spooky. This is a video, sort of. Where did the rhythm go? Where's the one? That the scat man stutters, but doesn't ever stutter when he sings. But 
What? All right, all right, all right. We get the point. You're dark I like and that you're this spooky. Is absolutely the polar opposite feeling of the original. Fair enough. Like, but that doesn't make it good. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it it's was like okay, a, nice job on the video, sort of. Yeah, it was a, it, it was definitely better than a lot we've seen on the show so far. But you know, it's not quite what I'm looking for. I don't think. No rev for if you. If you were looking for that, I'd be concerned about your mental health. Yeah, okay. A oh, I love bit. the name of this next group: Anality or Virality. And another cover of Cotton Eye Joe. Here we go again. Still. <laughs> Oh, we got that gore grind, the porno grind snare drum. Super high tuned. Did they ever find out where he came from and where he went? Oh. Nah. Goddamn grindcore bands. Every gent kid just wet themselves at that much guitar move there. It's actually kind of a groovy riff, considering. Oh, there are two guys in this band. They just have the same look. Look. They must have put the, the microphone into the guy's throat. Forget cupping the mic. <laughs> no deep throating the mic, please. You didn't specify that in your video, Glenn. This is true, but yeah. See, where you go? Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> Illuminati! Okay. okay. Well, uh, uh, well, I don't know if it was good, but it was I don't something. know if that was uh, that anal or oral or kind of a mixture of both, but... Uh. What is it with grindcore bands and this fascination with human bodily fluids and functions? It's like... Yep. It's a bit much. Yep. All right, next. We've got the thong song by Accidents. Accidents. I fucking love the thong song, Glenn. If they fuck it up, I'm going to be so mad. The original is so good. Don't you blow it. Why is he cutting the lemon? I have no idea. Oh! No, it's good! Thank God. Playing a Carillion. Gotta work on those harmonies a little bit. Oh, that's okay. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, you better have some fucking riffs, bro, if you're gonna get to play a Carillion. Demonstrates how difficult shit like this is to sing, though. Like, let me see that. Kind of, sorta, kind of, sorta. Close your text message. Put the 
song on its face? That's gross. <laughs> What the hell is he fucking cooking? Uh, what is What is the beverage that he's made? Yeah. Oh. He's just showing off his chef skills for no reason Maybe. at all. But now I want to know. It's a, it's I'm an, sure we'll see at the end of the video. It's a element that's keeping us watching until the end. Yep. Look at that plating. It's going to be a butt. He's Probably. plating a butt. I would think so, yeah. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be an eating ass joke. Some court changes. Dude, the best part in the original is when the, it just like modulates up. It's fucking huge. Uh, ah. Plating the thong. All right. All right. All right. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, I. Oh, that was all. That was it. I mean, another example of like sometimes the original is just fucking great, and you shouldn't do that much to it when you cover it. <laughs> Go possibly, back and listen possibly. to it. It's yeah. still fucking great. I was a little worried. Yeah, I was a little concerned with that chorus and whatnot. It was okay. So yeah. It was like pretty good. It was all right. It was all right. But you can't touch Cisco, yeah. man. Yep. Yeah. Um, so far, you know, the, the entries are getting to be a little bit better. Nothing's completely blown my mind yet, except for maybe a break your heart. But that's about it so far. I mean, I'm, I'm still looking for something truly amazing. So uh, you guys out there who want to get in on this contest, uh, please feel free to jump in and give us something truly amazing. Because that's what we're looking for. Because if we don't get it, I'm keeping my fucking amp. Plain and simple. You got to impress me. You must be worthy. Okay, way to take a tray. Mad <laughs> improvisational skills. There. Trey just chewed me out the earlier today. Oh, dude, we got to improv. We got to improv. Okay, I'm improving. Well, it's you like, got to give me something to work with. I don't really know how to play off of that. Uh, give me that, you know, if you want to get my amp, you got to get with my friends. And my friends are creativity, originality, and some kind of a plot, apparently. Glenn wants to see a plot in these a in plot in the video would be helpful. Well, it doesn't even have to be a plot. It, it could just be something interesting. Just kind of some kind of thread that pulls you through the video instead exactly. of just instead of the, the same, same three fucking shots. Yeah, the same three shots. Because that's, that's kind of boring. Yeah. So yeah, make it a little more entertaining. Let's mix it up a little bit there. But if, if you can do a plot video, that's great too. All right. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Oldies But Baddies. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys want to find out all the contest details, uh, all the prize listings, all that, that's available in the description below. Many thanks to our sponsors, such as Waves Audio, GOC Guitars, Rev Amps, Engel, Audient, Eve Audio, Lewitt Mics, and if I forgot anybody else, I really apologize, but uh, you I guys don't are all absolutely fucking amazing. Anyway, uh, make sure you subscribe to Trey over on Gear Gods as well. He's got a killer fucking show. He's been around for years, does some wonderful stuff. Not and as many years as Glenn's been around because he's old. This is this is absolutely true. I was I'm so old. When I grew up, music actually didn't suck. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And until then, praise Karam and crush your enemies. <laughs>